Hey y'all, I'm Donna. Welcome to my garden. It is fall and it's finally time to harvest this plant here. It's called a kaleette and I've been growing it since May. I started it indoors, um, I think around, let's see, April. And so I grew it indoors for about six to eight weeks before I finally transplanted it into this garden. Now I just um, side dressed it with compost throughout the summer and I've also been occasionally spraying it with a product called BT to help control the cabbage worms. They have been quite a, a problem here in this garden and those, for those of you who aren't familiar with BT, it's basically just an organic, um, a, it was an approved organic product to help control worms and it's a bacteria that when you put it on your plant it will um, destroy the digestive system of the worm when they ingest it. The only thing is though it does wash off so since I don't live here at this garden, this is the river, my river garden, it's just like a weekend getaway, um, I haven't been able to actively treat for the worm. So there is some worm damage on this plant but I hope that once I get in here I can get down here to these uh, the kelettes that they'll be nice. We'll just have to see. Now the kelette is a cross between Brussels sprouts and kale and you grow it a lot like Brussels sprouts. It takes a long time for them to mature. We've had a nice frost here recently so I'm thinking that um, it'll be nice they'll be nice and sweet because it's had that opportunity for the starches to convert over to sugars which is what happens when a lot of your greens go through a frost. So anyway I'm looking real forward to cutting this down and so what I'm gonna do is grab my gloves and I'm gonna cut this down like a tree. It's about four feet tall now. It's just been toppling over and um, we'll take it over to the porch. I want to cut into it and show you guys what we come up with. Okay, so let me get my stuff and we'll get busy. Like a tree. Okay, here it is. It is huge. And so I'm going to go ahead and take it over to the porch and we'll break off these leaves and see what we have in here. I'm thinking they're going to be pretty good. First thing I want to do is I want to take off these damaged leaves. So I removed all the damaged leaves and now I just have the little kelettes on here. So um, right here at the very tip uh, are some nice fresh new growth leaves so I'm going to cut those off. They look really nice. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting these off. Looks pretty good. Tiny though. <laughs> Okay, here is another one. I'm just going to pull the outside leaves off of the kelet. Looks pretty good. Here's some more here. The ones towards the middle look to be a little bit better than the older growth. The older growth, I'm, no I'm noticing some worm damage on the older growth. I'm just putting these right away in water so they can start to soak that way if there are any worms in there, they will come out of the flower sprout and go ahead and get it, them soaking. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them off and then we'll take them inside and I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. So I also had some carrots growing in the garden so I decided to grab those and I did a video for you earlier this year uh, to show you how to grow carrots so I'll leave a link to that in case you didn't see it and maybe you'd like to grow carrots next season. I also had some Brussels sprouts growing and they looked really good. It was They were just perfect so I thought I would just do a little medley of different kind of vegetables from the garden. The kelettes when I got them inside they were just beautiful. What beautiful colors. These purples and the greens and they're really Really nice when it's growing in the garden as well. So I had um, a hot Thai pepper and I had some red barren onions from earlier in the season. Now I'm going to make a little sauce here. This is going to be a bourbon pecan sauce but certainly you don't have to do this. Uh, a little maple syrup with some pecans will be great on this. So I'm just going to reduce the bourbon. I want to cook out some of the alcohol and I'm going to go ahead and fry up one piece of bacon and then cut all of my vegetables in half. I want to 
remove the seeds from the Thai pepper because it was really hot. Now I'll go ahead and start toasting off some of the pecans just to kind of bring out that flavor. The bacon was done so I went ahead and removed some of the bacon grease and then I added about a tablespoon of coconut oil. And I just went ahead and started the carrots and the onions because I wanted those to have a little bit more flavor. I um, wanted to be cooked a little bit more than the callettes or the Brussels sprouts. Now the bourbon had reduced nicely, so I went ahead and added some brown sugar. I'll leave the measurements for this uh, little glaze in the description area below if you'd like to check it out. After just a few minutes of cooking uh, the carrots and the onions, I went ahead and added the Brussels sprouts and the kaolettes to the pan. I put them face down because I want to get some color going on the side that I cut. To my um, bourbon sauce, I added a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg. So I went ahead and added some, some smoked habanero pepper powder. I also made that for you earlier, um, about I think last month. So, so everything was thickening up nicely here and it looked like it might be time to go ahead and add the pecans. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of cream just to kind of smooth it out a little bit and just kind of bring it all together. I tasted for salt and I had forgot to salt this. So I went ahead and added a little bit of salt too. And the vegetables were just about done and I wanted to go ahead and just kind of glaze the carrots. And so I just put those here in the sauce. So I checked on the vegetables. They were getting some nice color going on them. So I went ahead and removed them so they would stop cooking. And then I cooked also some shrimp really quick. And you know, it only takes a few minutes to cook shrimp. So I went ahead and cooked that in my skillet. And everything was ready. So I went ahead and put the bacon actually back in the vegetables. And then I just drizzled some of that uh, glaze right on top of the vegetables. And I also went ahead and put some on the shrimp as well. So it was so good. I really enjoyed it. And this will definitely be a vegetable I'll grow again next year. Like I said, it's so beautiful. It is just um, really nice in the garden and it, it tastes wonderful too. So you can't beat that. <laughs> so I hope you can give it a try. Hopefully you'll be able to grow one as well. I'll leave um, where you can order the seeds in the description area below the video in case you'd like to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.